No, just this morning my wife sent me a proverb from Turkey that when you elect a clown and you think that he will be a king, what he does is to convert the kingdom into a circus. And I am suggesting to us that that is part of the African problem because it starts with political hygiene. Most of Africa is suffering because we do not have democracies. We have kakistocracies. And kakistocracies are governments by our very worst. This is what we must deal with and this is what we must say. Who do we elect into our public offices? Because, as I've said before, when you allow hyenas to take care of goats, why should you be surprised when the goats are eaten? This is the same. And Africa is only going to realize our potential in all areas when by dint of choice, we enable and allow our best men and women to serve in different areas. I've heard it being said about Lee Kuan Yew in Singapore. I've heard it being suggested about Mahathir Mohammed in Malaysia. I've heard it being said about Japan. I've heard it being said about other countries. But there was a conscious decision on the part of those individuals and the followership. We always talk about leaders, but we never talk about the followers. The followers must also style up. Africans, on average, are some, for some reason, attracted to thieves. Africans are, for some reason, attracted to men and women who cannot serve. Her. And when they are not served, then they complain. When Africans are told, choose you now whom we shall release, Jesus of Nazareth or Barabbas, they say, release Barabbas. And when Barabbas behaves like Barabbas, they say, why are you not behaving like Christ? It cannot be done. And this is what we must do. And I am submitting to us that it can be done and it should be done.